breathing. Like, oh, I'm you're holding your breath to suck in your... Everything in to suck in the, like, I was gonna the say, role that I have. Oh, please. <laughs> yes. You do not have a role. Oh, yes, I no, do. I, no, I was going to say, you kind of look like Wonder Woman. <laughs> you look like you're well, ready to fight evil. Yeah, well... <laughs> I'm not breathing. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm glad you're breathing now, Mike. Yeah, you kind of had the you kind of had the whole James Bond thing going on. You think that's what yes. it was? Well, you look good. Well, she had me sort of on one foot, and so I was just trying not to fall over. Oh, that was. <laughs> so we pull off all types of magic here at PTO. Right. <laughs> hey, and we want to talk with you today because you've been sending in uh, questions. We want to kick this off. We did it last Friday. We had so much fun. Uh, this is our Friday free for all, so you can ask us questions on the. Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook page. We have it pulled up right here, right now. We also have some questions from earlier in the week and even ones from last week. So we're going to get started here and see how many we can answer. And let's um, let's look at this. So you're going to pull one from. I'm going to pull one from live what's first. going on okay. right now. Yeah. Is there a live audience? There is not normally a live audience, although we there, would love one. But there used to be, right? There, you, well, way back in the day, mm -hmm. Pittsburgh Today had a live audience. Mm -hmm. And then we have a live audience when we go to the Home and Garden Show. Uh, uh, there's always two Fridays where you can get tickets and come and see us in person, and we love that, too. So that's, that's right. a lot of fun. And when you guys started the Home and Garden Show, or when you were there, is when I started. And I so know, that was the I thought it started. was so much fun to have a live audience, but... No. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, you're live at home, but yeah, we, we, we at some point, it, it's always great to have a live Right, audience, I agree. So. All right, we have another question. Okay, this is from Adrian. She says, I know you guys eat a lot of food on PTL, but what would your favorite cuisine be? We do eat a lot of food. We eat a lot of food. Uh, Italian would probably be my favorite, but I like a lot of different types of food. Me too. But mine's a, see, it depends on if it's a good day or a bad day. If it's a good day, mm. like I'm more of like a steak and like fresh vegetables, maybe some fresh sauteed zucchini. If it's a bad day, it's like pizza or cornbread. Yeah, and, or well, dessert. Well, all of that sounds that. good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I got a cheesecake downstairs I yesterday. I saw you. I, I caught him. <laughs> she, she always catches me whenever I get something bad for me. Like, she's somehow she's the food police. Somebody has to keep you in check. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's keep going here. Let's... what. Uh, okay, where, David, where did you grow up? I grew up uh, in a little place called Brick Church. It's a suburb, I like to say, of Ford City. Uh, I went to Ford City High School up in Armstrong County. Right, that's good. Yeah. All right, so this is from Nancy. Uh, this question is for David. When you go out, do you always have to look so pristine, or can you go to the market <laughs> in sweats and your hair messy? Uh, yeah, I go to, uh, well, thank you, Nancy, uh, but I uh, sometimes go to the coffee shop in our neighborhood mm -hmm. before I'm really ready to go out, and th th it's always th it's that moment when someone says, oh, David, can I get a picture, you right. know, uh, but I still do that, yeah, but thank you for thinking I look pristine. You do, Nancy, you all, your I'm hair is always in place, so yeah. she is right, all right, all right. so Dan, mm -hmm. he wants to know what some of my hobbies are. What are your hobbies? All right, so I like to hike. I hike in like Shinley Park, just local parks, Frick Park. So that's a lot of fun. It's relaxing. And especially with the change in season now, the fall leaves, oh, it's so calming. I like hanging out with my friends. I have some of the best friends ever. Dancing, I thought I was gonna be uh, one of those uh, music video dancers back yeah. in the day. That didn't work out so well. I didn't know that about <laughs> you, Mikey. Okay. And, yeah, and uh, I like shopping, preferably at TJ Maxx. Oh, okay. Well, now you know all about Mikey <laughs> yes, Hood. You do. And I, um, I play tennis every Sunday morning. And um, what else do I like to do? I like to paint, even though I don't get to do it very often. It's just fun. Right. It's sort of, you know, it's your artistic side. You said you that would out. be your second career. It could be my second yeah, career. And if I were maybe better at it, it would work really well. <laughs> all right. Heidi is asking, I always wondered how many hours do you actually work per day? And it kind of depends on the day. I mean, we mm. always put in a full day, but some days it can be like That's nine right. hours or some days it can be 12. 12 12 hours. <laughs> it just depends, but uh, but we love what we do. We so, do. All right, you know, here we go. Let's thing. see. Let's take another one. Where can I buy a PTL coffee mug? We get that question a yeah, lot. Yeah, and you know what? We we need to open a gift shop. We do. A KDK or PTL gift shop because uh, we right now they're not for sale. Uh, but yeah, a lot of people ask about them, and uh, they are really nice. Uh, mugs, my mom so. is still trying to figure out how to get a PTL oh, coffee mug. Oh, you should mug, hook her so up. I with need a to get mug. my mom one at yeah. least. Yeah. Okay. Work on that for your mom. All right. and, and thank you for asking. And who knows? Maybe one day we can do that. All right. Um, Tammy is asking all of your favorite vacation destinations. I love Ooh. PTL, she says. Oh, good. 
good, good. Yeah. So I love going to New York. It's a lot of fun. There's always something to do, a great show. I love I like the smell for some reason of New York. It's Wait, let's stop. I <laughs> <laughs> you like the smell, the smell of New York. I don't know what it is. It smells like burnt pretzels and hot dogs. Oh, oh no, I get that. Okay, yeah. all right. I was concerned what, what you were smelling. Yeah, so. All right, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So but no, it, the, all the stands that mm -hmm. they sell the pretzels and the hot dogs. Right. And it, I love New York too. It's one of my favorite places to go. Just the hustle and bustle and the stuff that you can go and, and see there. But I think my favorite place, period, is Provincetown, which is like right on the end of Cape Cod. It's a little beach community, an artist community, mm -hmm. great restaurants. Oh, that sounds yeah. good. Yeah, that sounds that's really good. good. All right, what else do we have? Okay. Here? Uh, is there a live audience? Oh. Oh, okay, that? how about this? Uh, from Carol. What is your favorite flower or plant? Oh, interesting. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is a great time of year. Once again, I love mums. And so you do. I do. The colors are, I mean, kind of like, looks like my dress, like a deep right. wine color. You can get the, the pretty golden yellow colors. Um, so that's fun. I would probably just say roses. I think roses are my oh, favorite. You're yeah. I like well and I also like like those orange roses. They make like like a deep orange and it's really oh, yeah, nice. we had that at our wedding, so mm -hmm. I like that a lot. Thanks. All right, let's do a couple more here. All right. Um what are your favorite thing to do around Pittsburgh? I like to eat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> say, it kind of revolves around food. I mean, we right. have some of the best restaurants here in Pittsburgh, so it's really easy to kind of wet your palate and, you know, try something new every every weekend. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. very easy to do that. All right, yeah. so these are great questions, and uh, we, we need to move on at this we point. Do. But keep okay. sending us questions, because we're going to try to do this, if not every Friday, a lot of Fridays, mm -hmm. uh, a Friday free-for-all, and we will ask, uh, we'll answer whatever you want to ask us. Yeah, it's good. Almost. 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 Almost anything. Almost, almost yeah. anything. Selena what? kept saying, I'll answer anything. And I was like, Selena. Oh. Anything. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, a lot of families around here, they love going to Disney World, but Disney World is doing something new now for vegans. Yeah. yeah. This is this is actually really uh, very interesting that they think there's a market to do this. So Disney has announced they're adding plant-based food options to every dining location at both Disney World and Disneyland in California. So that's more than 400 vegan dishes that will be available available, whether it's the quick serve places or even the sit down table service restaurants. It's going to begin next month in Orlando. Oh, yeah. And then at the spring at Disneyland in California. So technically, Disney is being careful to call the items plant based and not vegan. And that's because the exact definition of what qualifies something right. as vegan seems to change a little bit. But you'll be able to tell which menu items are what because they'll have a new green leaf logo there. So it'll yeah. make it easy. Make it mm -hmm. easy. And clearly, you know, more and more people are caring about this and doing this, and so Disney thinks that uh, that they need to make the change. So. I agree, and I, yeah. and I have a friend who's vegan, and it's tough. It's to tough find to find stuff. menu items, and usually she just ends up with a plate of vegetables and <laughs> some potatoes. So right. Right. This, this will be great for her. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Good. Good. All right. Well, we also wanted to show you something else because it's pretty unusual to see an albino deer, and we've gotten video from two different instances recently. Uh, so take a look at this. First, we're going to begin with. Uh, this was the fawn that was seen. This is the newest vi video, a little baby fawn with white spots. This is a McCandless. Brian Polk captured this video. He says he first saw this fawn in June, but now we have some video also of an adult oh. albino deer. And look at this. I would run. <laughs> You would run, run See, away. I think it's beautiful. I think it's like a fairy tale kind of thing. Mm -hmm. But I'm not sure I would immediately realize it's a deer. <laughs> no, you would it, have to stare at it. Kind of, I don't know, what, that, what is that? Are well, we sure it's a deer? That? Well, no, I, I think we're pretty uh -huh. sure it's a okay. deer. Yeah. But this was also in the McCandless area. And experts say the odds of an albino deer being born are about 1 in 20,000. So wow, it's possible it that you would see one. But, you it's know, very rare. thank you for sharing both those videos with us. There's clearly a, a family of them there in McCandless, All I guess. All right. Well, from deer to dogs, we're celebrating National <laughs> Dog Week this week by showing some of your pets. And we've been getting a lot in. I we? love this. You have been sending us pictures. And and we love it. First we have, we want to show Daryl's dog. Daryl is a crew member here. He's the floor director, the TD, sometimes the director. He's always talking about Dewey. Ah. Well, this <laughs> is Dewey with his family. So this is mom, dad, brother, and sister. Dewey is the second one from the left. He's the one looking right in the camera, looking up like, oh. Daryl, what are you doing? Are you going to get me on TV or not? <laughs> yeah. Daryl got him on TV. He has a future in show business. All yes. right. <laughs> from Beth Smith, this is Bruno. He loves to ride in the truck, and he's 
very sweet to his sisters. Oh, Bruno. Yeah, he looks like he'd be a bit mm -hmm. sweet. All right, Rebecca Hall sent in this next one. This is Little Bit. Yeah, very <laughs> cute, very adorable. I love the close-up, too. He I looks know. like he's pondering something. He looks so innocent. All right, Martha, <laughs> Martha Burtnick sent us this pic. This is Candy Lynn, a Canadian English Springer Spaniel, just turned 11, but has the energy of a two-year-old, so she makes a wonderful companion. All right, and this next one is from Janie Dvorsky, and this was her friend Alan's dog. The dog's name is Tulip. He trained Tulip to ride the skateboard, wow. and then they wore matching Hawaiian shirts. That's a show you could sell tickets to. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, Deborah Kavlovich sent us a pic of Lacey and English Gold, an English Golden. She recently celebrated her third birthday. She waited patiently for her special cake, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> so thank you again for sharing all of the wonderful stories and photos. We couldn't show them all, but I know a lot of people are looking at our Pittsburgh Today Live Facebook pics and just yeah. enjoying all of the pictures. So yeah, so check it fun. out if you can. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because there's a lot of great stories involving the dogs, too. And I so agree. we appreciate you sending them in. It's been a good week. Yeah, it has been. Well, coming up after the break, we're going to sit down with a remarkable woman who created a program that's all about spreading kindness. After the synagogue shooting in Squirrel Hill, it is an interview you will not want to miss. It's going to make you feel good. And speaking of National Dog Week, our own PTO Cutie Pie is here. <laughs> Pink One will join us for his weekly check-in. We will talk with the Sabos, the family raising our future canine companion. We Aww. love Penguin. He just sneezed. He just sneezed. God bless you, Penguin. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on this Friday. We have so much more ahead here on Pittsburgh Today Live. So grab another cup of coffee and stay with us.